All right, guys, here I am to rock your world by drawing the Lewis structure for HCN. First off, count the electrons that this brings with it. Hydrogen brings one each, carbon brings four each, nitrogen brings five each. I know that because I know the periodic table. Hydrogen's in the first column, it brings one. Carbon is in column four, it, gets, it brings four. Nitrogen is in the fifth column, it brings five. So, that means I need 10 electrons total. I write my atoms down on the paper with probably the least electronegative atom in the center. Remember, electronegative atoms are found up here. Carbon will often be at the center. Nitrogen will sometimes be at the center. Fluorine will never be at the center. Probably the least electronegative atom goes in the center. Hydrogen is a bit of an exception. Hydrogen is never at the center. All right, after you do that, put some electrons in your bonds. We need at least one bond here and one bond here. That makes for one, two, three, four electrons taken care of. Next, fill your outer shells. Until you run out of space in your outer atoms or you run out of electrons. One, two, three, four electrons. H is filled. H can only hold those two electrons. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, now I'm out of electrons. Notice nitrogen has a full octet already. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Finally, move electrons from your outer atoms to your central atoms until they also have a full octet. Carbon here needs 8 electrons, and it currently only has 1, 2, 3, 4 around it. So. Get rid of two electrons from the nitrogen, they get a double bond. Now carbon has six electrons. Well, that's still not eight. So get rid of two more, make it a triple bond. Now carbon has eight electrons. That's the way it goes. Nitrogen has eight electrons around it. Carbon has eight, and hydrogen has its max two. This is the Lewis structure for HCN. Let me redraw it officially for you. H single bond C, triple bond CN, or triple bond N, with a lone pair of electrons sitting on the end. It's the way it goes. Least electronegative atom in the center, fill your outer atoms, then move outer electron pairs to the center until they have a full octet. Hey, best of luck.